Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at the GF30 slash PP filament from Xtrand. And this is a polypropylene filament that is reinforced with glass fiber. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament from Xtrand is a specialty filament and is a mixture of glass fiber and polypropylene and is very stiff and strong and is recommended to use a hardened nozzle for this filament as the glass fibers will damage a normal nozzle. I printed this filament at 245 degrees on the hot end and 100 degrees on the bed and I did some testing and as this filament is a polypropylene based filament it will not stuck to the PI sheet and I was using the packaging tape I used in the, in the polypropylene filament from Verpeton but with that tape I was getting very good bed adhesion and the problem with the tape it sticks to the parts and rips away from the PI sheet so I planned carefully to lay out the prints on different locations of the bed I was printing so I didn't have to remove the tape and put a new one in for its test print but let's have a look at the prints so the first print I did was this test print and this filament is very very stiff and, and very tough and I wasn't getting very good layer adhesion I can rather easily break off the parts but it's not not very good layer adhesion the bottom plate is is quite tough and the print quality wise it was without any issues there were no issues like stringing or any, anything like that but this part was coming out with a good surface finish and worked quite well for me I then printed out this printing test and it's difficult to see the, the black parts as you can maybe see it's a little bit of drooping especially in the longest span here it has quite a number of issues but other than that it came out pretty good in the shorter spans and here you can see the, the tape just rips off and is glued to the part itself it's the material just fuses to the packaging tape but it's not an issue for the print you can just scrape it, off, scrape it off with a knife the extra extra part of tape so it's not a special issue but uh, it's very stiff and, and very strong strong parts and it's, it's quite difficult to to break so it's uh, a very strong material i printed out the, the strength test and i already broke this one off and i made a mistake when i was printing this i didn't have any any info so this part broke rather easily but here on this part it is it's very strong it's very difficult to break it so it has very strong mechanical properties and it's very very stiff and then printed out this overhang test uh, and the surface finish on the top side was very excellent it's re really a matte finish and it has very good looks and the overhangs uh, even at 70 degrees came out pretty good there was a little bit difference in the surface finish from 60 to 70 but not an issue and came out excellent and this is very stiff and very difficult to to break um, so it's a very strong material and then printed out my maker coin and that came out excellent and the the surface finish is like a, a texture more than you don't really see the layer lines in the print so it has a nice nice texture to it the other side and the letters came out great and there was no no issues uh, printing out this model it came out great so you can get fine details working quite well with this filament um, it has very good strength with the glass fibers fused into the filament so this was uh, working quite well for me so as you can see on the table i have quite some left of this filament and i want to, to keep a little bit of this filament and uh, use it if i needed to make strong parts that would be very stiff so i want to keep printed out maybe half of it in the test prints and i want to keep the rest for myself so overall i was quite happy with this filament it has great strength and it's very stiff uh, the only downside is the polypropylene part of it you have to use packaging tape on the on the bed to get it to stick and it's a pain to remove the remaining glue on the pi sheet and you have to use acetone at least in in the tape i i have it was uh, quite a pain to remove <laughs> but uh, print quality wise this filament came out excellent and properties of this filament is is quite good it's very strong and, and very stiff and 
and they say that you can easily uh, tap into this filament with use tooling on this on mechanical parts um, I haven't tried to screw into it uh, with some tooling but uh, overall I was quite happy with this from it but this will be this video on the TF30 slash PP filament from Extrant uh, if you need a strong engineering filament this is something you could have a look at but for now I uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one